Hello friends, um, welcome to Actually Study Abroad TV. Today we are coming to look at what to include in a personal statement. What are the things that you should be should be included in a personal statement? The statement that you are going to give to the school for them to give you an admission. This is Actually Study Abroad TV. Kindly hit the subscription button or better still, follow us on any of our social media handles or visit our website www.achelens.com. Now we are coming to look at 11 bullets or 11 paragraphs that should be in one's personal statement. These paragraphs, uh, any of them should be made available now the first paragraph when you are writing a personal statement is what we call the introduction or the personal introduction paragraph so here we are looking at your background your educational background we are looking at your goals you are looking at your achievement all these are part of the introduction so this should be in the first paragraph of whatever you are coming to write that is your personal statement now the second point or the second paragraph is the previous education so here we are looking at the schools that you are you attended the course that you did the researches that you've done all these should be in the second paragraph so we are looking at your transcript if there is also any um, uh, length of study the certificates of attainment and everything all should be in the second paragraph so from the second paragraph we move to the third paragraph so here we are looking at any study gap if there is a study gap that is um, for instance you completed school in 20 18. Now is the time that you want to continue your education. Why? What happened? Were you sick? Or is it because of work engagement? Or is it because uh, any reason that made you not continue your education when you completed? So if you want to do your master's, if you want to do your PhD, those gaps in years, you should explain, give an extensive explain, explanation as to why that study gap is there. Now, the fourth paragraph here will talk about your current employment, where you are working now, the things that you do, the engagement, what engages you, what are the things that you are doing now. All these should be in the fourth paragraph. So you give an extensive explanation of the job that you are doing and the things that you are doing here. Now, the fifth one or the paragraph five should include your ties to your home here we are looking at the things that engages you, the things that you are doing here why you will return after your school what you are doing what will make you return is it because of your family is it because of your goals is it because you want to establish yourself here is it because your company is as um a sponsor that is why you have to uh return home that should be in the fifth paragraph so from the fifth we move to the sixth paragraph so with the sixth paragraph you are looking at why you are choosing a, a certain country so why are you choosing canada why are you choosing usa or why are you choosing uk or any destination finland where you are going to school why you think that continuing your education in that particular country will help improve yourself improve your community improve your education why you think other competitive countries uh doesn't come to play you that should be in the sixth paragraph here you are dealing with why reason behind choosing a particular country now from the sixth paragraph you move on to the seventh paragraph so you the sixth you explain the country so the seventh you are dealing with why the specific school and course so the seventh paragraph should be that there are a lot of schools in that country that you selected. Why that school? You should give an explanation. You've done research on the school. The school has the best of facilities. They have the best of instructors. Why that course? Maybe that course is what you did for the undergraduates. You want to go and do the masters. 
you want to do research in a particular field in that course that you just uh, completed it with a degree so reasons should be given why you choose the school and why you also choose the uh, the country that should be in the seventh paragraph so from the seventh we move on to the eighth paragraph so here the eighth paragraph you are dealing with the knowledge of about the life in the country that you've selected what do you know about uk what do you know about canada what do you know about let's say um, finland australia is it because of the economy how stable it is is it because of their language anything that you know any knowledge that you have about uh, that country should be there anything in regards to accommodation your um, accommodation issue and whatsoever should be in the eighth paragraph so from the eighth paragraph we move on to the ninth paragraph that talks about the research and opportunities in that country that you selected you had options in regards to wherever that you are schooling and wherever that you are located for instance you are in ghana a lot of schools are into business courses but you selected to do uh, your master's in business administration in canada or uk or whatever so you should give an explanation as to why you are going there other competitive education uh, destination are there finland is there canada is there usa is there why did you select uk so that should be in the ninth paragraph so from the ninth paragraph you move on to the tenth paragraph which talks about your financial capacity so here we are looking at the funds that you have available how are you going to fund yourself how are you going to pay for your tuition if you are going with the family how are you going to pay for their accommodation their feeding and etc all these should be in the 10th paragraph so from the 10th paragraph we move on to the last paragraph of the thing that should be in the good personal statement and which is your immigration history so if, for instance if you've traveled before you have in the green uh, immigration records all these should be part of the 11th paragraph which is the last paragraph if you've also been to the, that country that you are applying for before you can state them in the last paragraph and you having all these 11 um, paragraphs or things included in your personal statement i believe you will be selected over your fellow competitors don't forget this is actually in study abroad tv kindly visit any of our social media handles or hit the subscription button beneath our page to enjoy these and many exciting videos and content or better still visit our website www.achelens.com for more information. Thank you.